I just finished a project that I've been working on for one year and it feels amazing. Almost exactly one year ago I started doing drawings of Google Maps. A friend of mine suggested that we try and do 150 studies in three months, which would have been two paintings a day, which was way too much. After the three months I had finished a couple of them, I think I had 90 after four months, but at that point I knew that this was gonna take way longer if, if I wanted to use this project to learn something. If you set yourself a time limit like we are done, you're just gonna focus on rushing it, which is not the point of this whole thing. So the 150 studies took almost an entire year and I want to show you the first two that I did and then the last two that I did just because I think I made another big jump in quality in the last two. I'm super happy that this thing is finished. Now I have time for all the things that I'm never gonna do. I don't know, I just wanted to sit down and ramble a bit and maybe give some tips if you want to try something similar as well. Um, and just talk about some of the... basically talk about some of the things that I learned along the way. Step one. Start. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this is often the easiest part to just figure out one thing that you want to do and then start. But actually think about what you want to do. Is it just like, oh, just like one drawing, whatever it is a day? Do you want to do one study a day? Do you want to sketch one person's face every day? Pick one specific thing um, and then start. What happened to the friend of mine that started with me is he did a different thing every day. Um, so sometimes he drew spaceships, sometimes he did like an environment study. Um, and he picked like all of these super complex things and I think then got frustrated because they weren't turning out like he wanted them to. Um, Meanwhile, what really helped me is that my brain could just go on autopilot, like there was no question of what am I gonna draw today. It was go on Google Maps, checkmark Japan, checkmark Urban, press go, press it like up to five times until you find a cool image, screenshot, put in Photoshop, like I had the Photoshop file set up, I used the same setup for think half of them and then for the other half I used a bit of a different one but it was literally <laughs> screenshot paste in draw and that's it sometimes I even like um, saved out like five images so like the days after I didn't even have to search for a new image I could just like sit down draw and that kind of makes the whole barrier to starting lower because you already know what you're gonna do you don't have to figure it out get in the flow. So this is something that kind of helped me a lot um, because there are days where you just don't want to start. <laughs> you have your you have your image that you want to study but like the task of like spending one entire hour with this image is just super daunting and you don't even want to start. What helped me a lot is the thought that once you do something for like 20 to 30 minutes, you get in the flow and once you're kind of in that flow, it's not as bad. <laughs> um, so your brain kind of goes on autopilot. So if like the task of doing an image for an hour is daunting, um, set yourself the goal of just doing it for 20 minutes. Because once you start it and you did it for 20 minutes, you're already in that flow state and like the hour will pass super fast. I don't know if this helps anyone, this is just something that worked for me. Um, so yeah, maybe you can use that information. <laughs> Third thing, make a habit. 
which is way easier said than done. Um, I made the drawing every day a habit three times during these 150 paintings um, and I lost that habit three times. So um, habit building is not something that you do once and then you keep it forever. Um, but it definitely helps if you settle yourself into a routine. In the first three months of doing the drawings, I almost got one or two done each day. Um, and the fact is, I woke up the same time every day. I went into the kitchen, I made myself some tea, went down to the basement where our office was, and just started drawing. And that was pretty much my routine for the three months that Joseph and me still lived at Spell Collective. Then like a lot of events happened and that completely screwed that routine so I just stopped. Then when we moved to... we moved from Spelkotlaktivit to Munich and the month that I was in Munich I got back into the routine. Um, I just started doing the drawings in the evening and um, so what would happen is my parents Wi-Fi always broke down in the evening, so the only YouTube videos I could really watch or music videos with, a, with like just one image and the sound. So what I did is I put on some music in the evening and like every evening I got another one of these drawings done. Um, then I also got into the habit of putting them on my phone and posting them the next morning. So. That was the second time I kind of built that habit, but it was always like at the same, it was always at the same time of day. The third time when we moved into this flat, um, at which point I hadn't done the drawings for two months or so. Yeah, that was when I, um, in between, the drawings kind of turned into Pokemon artwork. So after I finished the Pokemon once, I kind of took a break again. And <laughs> what I did then is, uh, just tried to do one every two days and I mostly did them on days where there wasn't so much work. So I tried to do one day where I was working a bit more, one day where I was working less but doing the study. So um, I kind of used the rule of like, I can take a day off but not two days in a row. Um, and that kind of helped me finish the last 30 or so, was it? Yeah, I think it was the last 20 or 30 or so. Point four, I have a clear goal. So two or three years ago, I did 10 minutes of figure drawing every day. Um, and I also managed to build up a habit and keep it up for nine months and made a lot of improvements. Um, I still suck at drawing characters and anatomy, but I don't suck as much. But back then I didn't really have a clear goal, so after a while I just stopped and I also didn't feel like I achieved anything after it. It was just like, yeah, I got better, but it's like, eh, I don't know. Um, and with uh, 150 drawings, it was pretty clear <laughs> what the goal was. Um, it was to finish 150 drawings of Google Map images. Of course, I threw two or three real-life studies um, or photo studies in there, um, but it was still like, at the end, I want to have a folder with 150 studies. That's it. Yeah, so I think it definitely helps if you set yourself a goal. Um, because it also makes it easier to keep up the habit. Uh, what worked for me is after, I think after like 60 or so, I got really bored, so I started making Pokemon fan art. <laughs> and I knew that by planning out the Pokemon fan art that I was going to do around 80 images. So within the set of 150 images, I had the sub goal of doing 80 Pokemon images, which was basically just the studies with some color grading and one or two Pokemon thrown in there. So that helped a lot because like the last third was kind of where it became difficult. But for me, it was like, um, oh, like image 130 is gonna be the end of the Pokemon fan arts, which people really seem to enjoy. So that kind of 
motivated me to finish that part and then once I had the last Pokemon piece finished I was like well it's only 20 more to go so I might as well finish those as well. So then there were like 15 more that were a drag and then it was like okay it's the last five I can, I can do this I can actually do this. So yeah having that sub goal kind of helped. So I don't know if you can apply that to whatever you plan on doing um, but maybe if you are struggling break down your big goal into like smaller segments um, because then you're also gonna have like mini achievements that keep you going <laughs> and point number five is don't stress like I said I started this whole drawing thing with wanting to do 150 and three months which like after two and a half months I was pretty sure that I wasn't gonna do <laughs> so always keep the focus on what you want to achieve in terms of that I'm doing this to get better at art I'm not doing this to prove to the world that I can do 150 drawings in three months because that is bullshit like nobody's gonna pat me on the back and say wow you did it it's that like that's not gonna like approval from others is not gonna help me it just means that I have 150 rushed paintings and I'm just and I'm still a shitty artist so always step back and like think about why you're doing it and don't fucking stress like if you feel shitty for two weeks and like you break your habit you don't do your drawings you stop coding you stop whatever you stop your photography or like writing or whatever you want to do then just like be okay with that and don't think that and don't think that you failed and then stop just like tell yourself that you took a break now you now you're gonna start again and then you're just gonna finish it um so yeah don't like it's cool if you want to set yourself a time limit but if you go over it like nobody in this world cares about the time limit that you set for yourself except you so fuck it <laughs> yeah and then the last point uh make yourself accountable um, I kind of put this at the end because I know that this is gonna help some of you, but not all of you. Um, and this is kind of something that you have to decide for yourself. The friend that I started the 150 drawings with, who stopped, is now doing a 100 drawings challenge. And he's doing super well at that, but he's he kept it a secret and he's not really posting them online because he says that stresses him out so he would rather show them later and be like hey <laughs> I did a hundred drawings in secret <laughs> meanwhile for me it really helped that I could share the images that I did um, we had a private discord group me and my art friends where I tried to post daily um, and then seeing like where and then seeing my group of friends just post under the artwork like wow you're doing it keep up the good work do it do well. um, that gave me a huge boost and um, kept me going also I got in the habit of posting the images online which also helped um, for example when I did the Pokemon images in between like the Kotaku article that came from that, all the Instagram followers that came from that and commented on my work, like that was such a huge boost. Um, I remember one image that I did where I was just like not in the mood. I did this, this bridge scene, um, which I didn't really like and then I put Snorlax in. Um, that image ended up being liked by, and commented on by one of my absolute art heroes um, and a guy wrote me a private message if he could have a print of that which he then bought like this huge a print gifted it to his girlfriend and then she took a picture of that and sent me a thank you message and my mind was so blown by that um, 
and that was one of the images that like I was like oh, I, it's just not gonna turn out right and I was so frustrated but like in the end like having that experience like gave me such a huge huge boost to do more.